Yo, what is up guys? It's King Pyro here and I'm back with another video. And today we're on Madden. Yeah. Um sorry I kinda neglected this side. I don't know. I said I was gonna do a lot of reviews, but you know, eleventh grade fucking a lot of homework. Sorry about my language. But whatever. Um let's get right into the review. We're not doing anything too big here. TJ Yeldon. Um looking like a pretty nice card for somebody that doesn't want to drop a hundred K on a card or go anything crazy like that but yeah he's definitely a really good overall back now he has uh, 88 speed his trucking's at a 84 juke moves nice accelerations nice so he's kind of a mixed breed right here so uh not too great at some things but not too bad at others so yeah that's what you're gonna get from him but maybe you'll get a little bit more. We'll see coming into the gameplay. And if you guys do not know, the new grading, I have a new uh, review uh, type system is grade. So I'm going to give them a grade and categories that I made up. Um, so yeah, and just give you an overall verdict if you guys should get him or not. So he was going for around 30K when I was making this video. You guys can look at the back of the card. But yeah, he was going for 30K on the ps4 not too sure what he's going for on xbox one but he's probably somewhere around there so yeah let's get right into the review and see how he plays in game all right so let's start off with getting out of the backfield getting out of the backfield was by far one of his best abilities just his sheer acceleration just kind of did it for him i'm not saying that he's going to break tackles coming out of the backfield which he did but he didn't do it a lot for you to consistently I'll rely on that but yeah just a sheer acceleration unless you're going up the middle he's gonna get some yards for you so i give that an a minus so speed and agility so this is a scenario you're you got 20 yards to go to the touchdown there's nobody but you and the defender the defender's 10 yards behind you you're gonna get the touchdown you're not gonna get caught but say the f the defender's like five yards to the right of you you're not gonna blow past him he's probably gonna catch you I mean, that does depend on what players are guarding you. Like, I went against an all-93 team with this card, and I'm pretty sure it's in this gameplay. Um, but yeah, he was getting demolished. Every time he got touched, he would just go down, and every card was catching him. So it does depend what cards you're going against. I do recommend um, if you're going against, like, 86, 87 elites or maybe golds to get this card. But yeah, that's, pr that's pretty much as high as I would go. So yeah, for speed and agility, I give him a B. So let's move on to stiff arming and trucking. By far his worst ability. Stiff arm, he would get dragged down and just, uh, he would get pulled down and go down like that. I mean, that didn't happen. Never mind. That was not a good example, but it'll happen a lot like that right there. That happened every single time. Trucking, don't rely on it. It's not going to happen. He just didn't do it. 84 is decent, but it just never worked for me. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. So let's get to the final verdict. I mean, not final verdict. So trucking and stiff arming is a D minus. I meant D plus. So yeah, all right, now let's get to the final verdict. The final verdict is, if you're looking for an elite halfback, then maybe this is the card to go. Cause honestly, he's one of the better ones for elite halfbacks that are going for 30K. But is he the best running back at, 30k or under no he's not i honestly think that there's some budget beast players that are better than him um so yeah but if you're going for an elite card around 30k this is definitely one of the cards that you may want to consider um so yeah that's pretty much it if this review helped you guys out leave a like let me know who i should review next